Well, probably the best way of describing an astrolabe is a two-dimensional representation of the three-dimensional universe, but that which can be held in the palm of your hand. Multitude of uses, but probably mostly used over the centuries uh, to tell the time in order, f well, tell the time using the sun, the position of the sun during the day and the position of the moon during the night. The reason why this one is so special is just purely because of its age and location of uh, origin. So this was made uh, in, most likely in Baghdad around circa 900 AD, which puts it into the sort of one of the earliest groups of Islamic astrolabes ever built. There are only around 20 of this, uh, of this type and date known uh, at all, almost all of which are in um, global museums. Uh, well, the astrolabe, we've set this, the estimate of this astrolabe at one and a half to two and a half million pounds, uh, which puts it you know, in a higher bracket of, uh, of pieces that are offered in the Islamic market, which can produce huge results. You know, there have been some, uh, some big prices paid for the best pieces over the last 10, 20 years, which has been a sort of healthy period for the Islamic uh, in Indian market as a whole. I'd say uh, for astrolabes, we, we really haven't had one this early to compare it to, so uh, we're sort of treading new ground. Farhana Nisa Zaid is one of the most important artists um, because I think she was constantly breaking barriers, for one. She was constantly experimenting. Everything which she did was new, it was radical, it was different. She was taking, absorbing a lot of influences. Artists were able to show these, literally throw their feelings out on the canvas are extraordinary. And I think she is definitely one of those people. And so also this is a painting in which you see her experimenting m more than ever. And there's very few of this period, of this style. And so it, this is why we're so excited to have it because I think it shows a part of her journey which is not very well known. Yeah. 